This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're at PWR Gym here in Essex. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Pierce O'Leary. How are you, sir? I'm great, Kilgan. Brilliant. Um, it's good to get an interview by yourself now. It's not Andrew anymore. <laughs> yeah, Andrew likes to... Uh, well, he's the main man at IFL, people say nowadays, which I'm happy <laughs> for him to have that tag. But I know you've done stuff with uh, Andy in the past, but it's good to catch up with you myself. But, um, yeah, things... Going well for you so far in your career, only six fights in, but you, you're pleased with kind of the progression you've made over that six fights? Yeah, definitely. Um, I had four back home, I had four in my old coach, and then I'm back over here now, uh, I'm back in England, so I'm over here now the last two weeks. So um, camp, we're in full swing now of camp, camp's going really good. Obviously, my fights are being pushed back now to mid, late June, there's not, nothing confirmed yet, but that's what it's looking like. And uh, yeah, I'm loving my transition so far with Al Smith. It's unreal. It's a really kind of unsettling time for boxers at the moment since obviously last last year, over the last 14 months, because I mean, if you're fighting, you're kind of in a lucky position. There's, there's fighters out there that haven't been so active and uh, it's almost like you have to take what you can get at the moment. Yeah, more, more likely so, but uh, when a good enough and confident enough um, you'll be back out and you'll be kept busy once you give 120% until your management and your coach. So, um, the plan for you to have your seventh fight around June time, have you had a date confirmed for that yet, Piers? There's no date confirmed yet, but it's looking like late, mid, late June. And um, I'm hoping to get out then again in possibility early September. Hope. Have you, uh, have you done some training here already? We know you obviously train out in Bromley, but have you done some training at this gym here? I come over, I come over in March, and um, obviously with the lockdown, then the, the, the virus happened, the pandemic, and it was just boom, closed. Then I had to go back home then, and then this is my first camp now. My second fight over here, and my first camp with power. So yeah, I'm looking excited. I'm, like, I'm buzzing, I'm really excited, I am. Can't wait. Itching to get out there, basically. Yeah, I am. Because it's just... I'm seeing the improvements in every time, every time I spar, every camp. It's, it's unreal. So um, it's like, it's like I can see the plate of fuel, but it keeps getting dragged away from me, <laughs> and I'm chasing constantly. So um, I'm always buzzing. Like even if Al says I'm sparring, Mon let's say it's the weekend, Al says I'm sparring Monday. I won't sleep Sunday night. I'm so excited to get back in there and keep walking, keep performing, and um, it's yeah, it's brilliant. It's great. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, let me ask your opinion about a huge fight coming up on, on, on the 8th of May with our very own Billy Joe Saunders, who, who takes on pound for pound king in some people's eyes in Canelo. What chance do you give Billy Joe in this fight, Piers? Um, do you know what? I actually I rate Billy Joe. Uh, Canelo is my favourite fighter. I'm not going to be biased, but I can see that he might give Canelo some trouble where uh, he's moving and hitting and not be hitting. But, um, We'll just see the, ba the best man ones on the night. But this is what boxers are in, in the business for, to fight guys like this. So he's wanted this fight for a long time. He's now got the fight. So we'll see what Billy Joe's made of on the 8th of May. Yeah, well, I've seen the shape he's in now at the minute. He's, on, he's in unreal shape. So I hope he... And by looking at him on social media, he's had to take the fight so serious. So I think... T I don't know, I'm questioning myself now whether it might be an upset or not. But I don't know. Hopefully there is, just for the sake of... Billy Joe and stuff like that, and give him the credit that he deserves. Okay, Piers. Well, listen, we'll uh, we'll look forward to kind of hearing a confirmation of your your next fight date. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we before we finish, mate? I just appreciate your time. I really appreciate it. Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, right, I'll let you get back to what you were doing, and uh, hopefully we'll catch up again soon. Thanks very much, Q. Yeah, appreciate it.